Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about something super cool. How to set up keybinds for Call of Duty in the Game Loop Emulator. I'm making this video because the game was updated and I need to configure my keybinds again. In this video, I'll show you how I personally set up my keybinds. It might sound a bit technical, but trust me, it's going to take your gaming skills to a whole new level. So, why should you care about keybinds, you might ask? Well, the answer is simple. Keybinds are like the secret sauce that makes your game awesome. It's all about improving gameplay. When you have the right keybinds, you can aim faster, move more smoothly, and shoot much better. It's like having superpowers in the game. But that's not all. Keybinds are also about making the game fit you perfectly. You know that everyone's hands are different, and we all have our unique gaming style, right? Well, Keybinds allow you to change the controls to match your personal style perfectly. No more awkward finger movements or doing things you didn't mean to, like crouching when you want to slide, heal while crouching, those kinds of things. You get what I mean, as it's happened to all of us at some point. The coolest part is that keybinds give you better control over your character, aiming, and actions. It's like going from an average player to a gaming pro in no time. So. Are you excited to see how this works? Follow me as I show you how to set up keybinds in Game Loop. I promise it's going to be a game changer and you're going to love it. Let's get started setting up your keybinds. This is where your gaming experience gets a personal touch. To access the keybind configuration, we head to the fourth icon on the top right and give it a left click. As you can see, these are the default key assignments, so I'm going to edit some of them. I'll start with the M key, which is already assigned to the map. Personally, this key is very uncomfortable for me, so I'm going to change it to the Degree key, which is right above the Tabby key. This makes it easier and faster to press and view the map. Next, I'll address the C and Shift keys. By default, Shift was assigned to control the Jackal or the Plane, and the C key was for sliding or crouching. However, I'm going to swap them. Shift is more suitable for sliding, so there's no doubt about it. Now, to eliminate a key that I don't need because I don't use it, I'll delete it. Furthermore, the C-Trial key, when pressed during gameplay, activates or deactivates the use of the mouse cursor independently of the character. Therefore, I prefer to change it to the Alt key. As you can see, adding a new key is as simple as left-clicking on the screen to create a new circle and then assigning the desired letter. This new Keytrol key allows me to have a 360-degree view. You might notice that the Alt key, along with the X key, are highlighted in yellow, which is completely different from the other keys that are blue. You might wonder why. Well, these two keys are special because they are dynamic, and I'll show you what that means in a moment. I'll change the yellow Alt key to the G key, placing it right above the plates. I'll assign the Caps Lock key to switch from first person to third person. Lastly, I'll remove the three key for grenades and replace it with the yellow X key, positioning it where the grenades are. It's worth noting that previously, the X key allowed dynamic selection of various quick message wheel options, such as Enemy Ahead or Enemy Spotted, among others. However, since I've moved that key, I'll only be able to mark but not use the other dynamic commands. Now, I'll add the X key back to its original location and save the changes. As you can see, I can now use the dynamic wheel with the plates, making the selection much more efficient. Similarly, with grenades, I can quickly select which one to use with a single key press without having to think about the choice. Additionally, I can see how many I have in my backpack just by looking at the numbers next to each one. One more thing to note is that, as shown on the screen, there are numbers and letters that can sometimes be distracting. To hide them, simply press F1. When you set up your keybinds, remember to think about ergonomics. Your keybinds should be comfortable and intuitive. For example, it's a good idea to have the movement keys close to each other, making it easy to slide and dodge bullets in the game. Similarly, have the map, plates, and grenade keys accessible for quick and precise actions. Your keybinds should feel like an extension of your gaming style. Take your time to experiment, 
and don't be afraid to make changes until it feels perfect for you. So there you have it. Setting up keybinds is a game changer. It personalizes your gaming experience, making it more comfortable and enjoyable. Remember also to organize your keybinds ergonomically, and let's continue making your Call of Duty mobile journey even more exciting and fun. Now that we've configured the keybinds, the real fun begins testing them. But remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and finding the perfect setup might take some trial and error. So here's what you should do. 1. Head into a practice match or a casual game mode in Call of Duty. This is your playground, your testing ground. 2. Play a bit, experiment, and get a feel for your new controls. Try running, jumping, sliding, shooting, and aiming. 3. See if everything feels comfortable and intuitive. If something doesn't quite click, don't worry. That's normal at this stage. While you're playing, pay attention to how your keybinds feel. Are they working for you? If something doesn't feel quite right, here's how you can make adjustments. 1. Go back to the key mapping tool, just like we did before. 2. Edit the keybinds that need improvement. You might want to change the keys assigned to certain actions or adjust their placement on the screen. 3. Head back into the game and test your changes. Rinse and repeat until it feels just perfect. Remember, finding the perfect keybind setup is a journey. It might not happen overnight, but that's okay. Every great gamer started somewhere and they all went through this process. So don't be discouraged if it takes a little time. The important thing is that your keybinds feel like a natural extension of your gaming style. Over time, as you play more matches and gain more experience, you'll fine-tune your controls until they're absolutely spot on. Keep practicing, keep experimenting, and enjoy the journey of becoming a gaming legend with your personalized keybinds. You've got this. All right, gamers, let's recap what we've covered in this video. We've learned the importance of setting up keybinds in Call of Duty for improved gameplay, customizability, and better controls. We recommended using Game Loop as your emulator of choice for a top-notch gaming experience. We walked you through the steps of accessing keybind configuration, explained the significance of personalizing your keybinds, and demonstrated how to add, edit, or delete keybinds for different in-game actions while highlighting the importance of ergonomic key placements. We emphasized the need to test your keybinds in a practice match, make adjustments based on feedback, and understand that finding the perfect keybind setup may take some trial and error. If you found this video helpful and informative, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and share it with your fellow gamers. Your support motivates us to create more content like this. And of course, if you have any questions, suggestions, or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. We're here to help you become the ultimate gamer, so let us know how we can assist you on your gaming journey. Thank you for watching and happy gaming, everyone. Before we wrap things up, don't forget to check out our YouTube channel. You can find us under the name I'm Mr. Boom. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join our growing community of gamers. We love to stay connected with our viewers, so feel free to follow us on our social media platforms, such as Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, You'll find the links in the description below. We want to express our deepest thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in today. It's been a blast.